In this short video, I will walk you through the basic milling formulas for cutting speed, spindle speed, metal removal rate, and much more. Hello everybody, Erez here from the Machining Doctor website, and my task is to make your professional life easier. So without further ado, let's jump right into the matter. Let's start with cutting speed. Cutting speed is the relative linear velocity between the tip of the milling cutter and the workpiece. It is the product of the rotation speed of the tool, which is the spindle speed, by the circumference of the tool. Since the circumference equals pi times the diameter, the formula for Vc is n times pi times d. Pay attention to the fact that the diameter in the formulas should be the effective diameter and not the cutter diameter. The effective diameter is the diameter at which the cutter makes contact with the workpiece. In 90 degrees mills, both have the same value, however, on round and chamfer cutters, the effective diameter depends on the depth of the cut. Lastly, we have to factor the result to match the VC units. So, to get the cutting speed in meters per minute, the final formula is n times pi times d divided by 1000. To get the result in SFM, you just need to swap the 1000 with 12. Moving on to spindle speed calculation. The catalog, or our experience, tells us the cutting speed for a given application. On the other hand, the CNC machine is limited by its maximum spindle speed. Therefore, we commonly need to compute the spindle speed out of a given cutting speed to ensure that the speed we want to run at is within the machine's limit. The same formulas used for the cutting speed are used here. We only need to solve the previous equation for n, which gives us 1000 or 12, depending on the unit, times Vc, divided by pi times d. The next formula we will study is for metal removal rate, or MRR, as it is usually called. MRR is measured in cubic inches, or cubic centimeters per minute and indicates how much material is machined in one minute under a set of cutting conditions. It equals the product of the table feed, radial depth, and axial depth. It is used for two purposes. Comparing the productivity between two scenarios and for calculating the required machining power. The formulas for metric units is VF times AE times AP. In imperial units, the same is divided by 1000. In milling, feed per tooth, also known as FC, is the linear distance traveled by a milling cutter during one full spindle rotation divided by the number of teeth on the cutter. Typically, we have information on the spindle speed and table feed. In such a case, it can be calculated by dividing the table feed by the product of the spindle speed and the number of teeth. Fc equals Vf divided by n times z. The last formula we will explore is for the table feed, sometimes called milling feed rate or feed speed. It is the linear velocity of a milling cutter relative to the workpiece, measured in millimeters or inches per minute. This is the actual parameter that is programmed into the CNC machine. However, it is not provided directly. The basic parameters that we can obtain from the tool catalog are the cutting speed and the feed per tooth. From the cutting speed, we can calculate the spindle speed, as I showed you earlier in this video. After that, we can proceed by multiplying it by the number of teeth and the feed per tooth. So, Vf equals n times z times fz. I will share links below to several resources on the Machining Doctor website where you can go deeper into these formulas. So that's it for today. I hope you found the video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. See you on the next one. Bye.